Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Python with OpenGL and Py OpenGL and Pygame tutorial video. In this video, uh, we're just going to be building on the last one and beginning to create our object avoidance game. So right now, a couple of the problems we have is this cube starts in the same place every time. Also, we want to be able to like press and hold our arrow key. So this is pretty typical uh, Pygame code here as far as that's concerned. So uh, let's go ahead and make those necessary changes now. So the first thing we want is one, we want the cube to start at a, like a random location. So we know we're going to need uh, import random. Now uh, we're just going to come down here and uh, the first thing that we'll go ahead and do is uh, since we're, we're rerunning main every time, what we can do to make the cube appear to be you know coming at us randomly, really simply uh, could be something like this. We could just say uh, random dot rand range zero or actually negative five to five, and then do the exact same thing again. So that would be to the creation of the x variable, and then again we could do the same thing for the y. And that will start us in a random place every time. So we can go ahead and visualize that really quick. Uh, so there's the cube there. Now it's down there. Now we've got another one there. We would have hit that. <laughs> another one there. Another one there. But even with this, you can see how it's absolutely necessary uh, that we would probably need to have more than one cube. Um, but the other thing that we're having problems with is that we have to keep tapping our key. We want to be able to hold the key and hold a maneuver. So doing that, uh, we've covered before, but we'll go ahead and throw that into this video as well. Um, so first of all, we need to uh, specify some simple uh, beginning numbers here. So we'll say x move equals zero, y move equals zero, easy enough. And then we'll come down here and instead of you know calling this stuff, we're going to move in, I think we'll keep, we'll do point threes probably. Um, but instead of that, we're going to say x uh, move equals 0 0.3 here. So a key left uh, means we're hitting the left uh, key there. So uh, 0 0.3. And then over here, we'll just copy this and paste it right here and say negative 0.3. Then we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing here. So with the up arrow, we want to go ahead and do y move equals negative 3. And then we'll do the same thing down here. We would say y move equals 3. Then uh, when we're all done, uh, well, now we actually need to have key ups as well. So... Um, there's a couple of ways that we could do this. Uh, we could just do it really easily. Uh, we'll just copy that, paste, and instead of key down, we'll do uh, key up. And then it would be x equals 0. But mm, I guess we'll just, we'll, what we'll do is we'll take this, move it up here, or event.key equals x key right, x move equals 0. And then same thing again here, or event key, y move equals zero. And that should do it. So now if you press and hold the key, our, our move will hold there. And if you release it, the move will stop. So let us now, um, we'll basically modify this translate down here. So you would just say um, x move, y move, right? So you would just add an x underscore move. And then over here, add in y underscore move. Save and run that. And now we're holding a position. Now, of course, there's a there's one major problem with that is if is if you're still holding it, like because main is restarting every time. Wow, we move really quick there. Do we do three possibly? What did we do there? That was too fast. Yeah, we did a whole number. Okay, zero point three and then 0 0.3, <laughs> that was very fast. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, so obviously we've got a couple of things that we, we're not too happy with. This is really just meant to be a really simple working version of kind of what we had before where there's just one block, but obviously this isn't ideal. Um, so we're gonna have to change a lot of stuff here. But anyway, what we want is many blocks. We want that key to hold. We want them to be random, but the problem with many blocks that are random is the generation of those blocks, having them there, and then 
one other final problem that we have down the road is say you put a bunch of blocks on this screen and you just hold the left key or something, you're going to avoid every single block, okay? So you need to have some blocks that are even off the screen entirely, or you could have like walls or something like that that keeps the player in this specific area. But I kind of like the idea of like infinity, right, on all the sides. So that's probably where we're gonna, we're gonna go with this game. But anyway, that presents some calculation and really processing issues that we'll have to tackle. So anyways, uh, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.